SHARP stands for Safety Health Achievement Recognition Program. So the idea with SHARP is to actually have a safety and health management process that an employer can work on over five years to learn how to manage safety and health and be successful at it to reduce injuries and illnesses. We were a safe company from the beginning, but there were improvements to be made. I heard about SHARP through Keith Hobson, our Director of Business Services. It was his vision to try and achieve SHARP. The biggest challenge that we had is that we had so many different sites, and because of that, we had to kind of pick and choose where we wanted to start. So we decided that we would pick the main HMT complex because it was so diverse. We weren't really sure that we could achieve SHARP at that facility, so we chose that facility. Within months, we started to see changes in the culture, people taking the time to be more safe. So once we realized that we could achieve SHARP in these areas, we broke it down further into other areas. We broke it into our recreation centers, our aquatic centers, and then our maintenance areas. From the beginning, we knew the SHARP's process was going to be a challenge because of our size. And what we did is after we looked at the HMT Recreation Complex, knowing that we had the diverse facilities and that this was achievable, we ended up re-looking at our whole safety committee structure. So what we did is through the process, we ended up you know, re-evaluating and we came up with basically four safety committees. So we have one for aquatics, one for our recreation division, one for our administration offices, and then one for our maintenance operations. Because of the complexity of uh, the safety committees and trying to disseminate information, one of the things we looked at was to have more accountability within the processes. We looked at having a risk management steering committee. Uh, this committee is kind of overarching of all the safety committees and allows uh, information uh, to go upward to say a management level where we can provide funding for programs that may otherwise get stalled if we feel that there's an actual need to improve safety or uh, reduce our risk. As a new employee with Tualatin Hills, it was really eye-opening to go through every form we had, every policy or best practice that we had. So it definitely helped learn all the various components of our district. There was also the OSHA form, and it was a questionnaire, and very detailed. We would give it to 10% of all of our employees and then get those results back. I would compile the data and evaluate the feedback that we received regarding our safety and health program. With that information, created goals and objectives for the following year. There's been a number of changes that have occurred during the SHARP process. One of them is just uh, looking at the processes in general. Uh, in the past, when people would get injured, there would be a reporting process that you know was on paper and it would be days or sometimes weeks if we ever received any notification of an injury. So we actually created an electronic online reporting system and it helps provide timeliness because as soon as the report's done, an email notification goes out to all the various supervisors and department heads so that way it can be responded to uh, fairly quickly. Even though Twalton Hills Park and Rec District has graduated from this uh, extensive program, we continue to use the methodology every day in our normal workplace. This program, I would recommend it if you really want to delve into your safety program and trying to find ways to reduce workplace injuries. Uh, it is not something that you should take lightly though, but it is very beneficial because once you do it, uh, you'll see not only cost savings, but increased morale from your employees, but it, it will take some time. Uh, and that's the thing, you know, 10 years for Twalton Hills, uh, we thought it was gonna be five, but uh, it has been beneficial and we will continue this as we uh, continue to grow.